here's a little tip I want to share with you concerning the hand primer pumps on these old Mercedes diesels. This old style that you see here is often prone to leaking and usually they've been on there for years and they're very hard to get off. Since I'm not going to be saving this, watch how I remove these old hand primer pumps. You want a big pair of vice grips. Find the right position to get in there and clamp onto it. Okay, now turn it counterclockwise. Oh man, see how hard that is on there? Okay, now you get the bonus tip. Stand by. For extra leverage, I usually run to my toolbox and get one of my trusty pry bars. And I'm going to go down and get it on top of the steering box. I'm going to get it so I can pry right on those vice grips. <laughs> you see how hard that is on there? All right, it's turning, but not by much. So we're gonna take another bite on those vice grips and try again. We moved the vice grip over a little bit towards the injection pump and lowered it down so we could get a little bit better pry right out there on the end of that vice grip. All right, let's give it another try. You can see you won't be able to get much travel on the vice grip. So we did indeed break it loose and just remove the vice grip and that pump is going to come out by hand. One thing I failed to mention earlier is you want to be real careful to not spill diesel fuel on your motor mounts. So notice I shoved a whole bunch of rags down below that primer pump even before I pulled the pre-filter and you're going to see why when we remove this hand pump. See the fuel running out of there is going to run right down into those rags. That's going to really protect our motor mount. I think some of you might ask me, hey Ken, how come you didn't use a crow's foot or an uh, open end wrench to get that old one off? You cannot get an open end wrench down there and a crow's foot on this thin aluminum housing will just round the shoulders off on the bottom of that hand primer pump. So we're going to install the new Monarch hand primer pump and that has a steel housing and a 19 millimeter shoulder on the bottom there and we can use a crow's foot to install it but you'll need a long extension like that and we're going to put that thing down in there by hand and then using this 19 millimeter crow's foot we can get underneath it and tighten it once it's in place